All right, what is going on everyone? Today we are back with another video. I'm sorry I couldn't post this last weekend. I wanted to, but I hadn't seen my family in like six months and I kind of just didn't want to be distracted. Anyway, this video is just going to be the uh, tutorial of how to air dribble. This is a mechanic that you do need to know, especially if you want to start freestyling in your lower rank. But this mechanic will be used especially from like just a ground to air dribble, which I'll probably do a part two at some point and all that. So anyway, we are extremely close to Angel 50 subs. So remember to subscribe for a chance to win this shattered on my screen right now. And my Discord's always in the description. And let's get into the video. You know I came through. You know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. Nowadays, I cannot lay low. I cannot lay low. Yeah, I cannot lay low. You know I came through. Okay. Don't mind the uh, background noise. I tried to get all of it out, but if you can hear some every once in a while, I'm sorry about that already. Anyway, as you saw from the intro, I am teaching you how to air dribble. And no, it is not that weird, clean ceiling to air dribble I just did there, but it's just going to be a more just of like your average wall to air dribble. And then I could always do like a part two for ground to air dribble since that's a lot harder than a wall to air dribble. But anyway, obviously that one wasn't on net, but I will say something I will say to just start off with an air dribble is this is also how I learned how to flip reset, but it doesn't necessarily need to be on net, but if you just hit it up, it's all about the setup. You can just hit it up anywhere you can hit to get I guess control is just good. But anyway, it's all about the setup. So as you can see where I am here, that's where you want to hit that's where you want to hit the ball up. So when it rolls up the wall, you want to hit it like right after this banner, as you'll see right here. So you can see I got right after the banner, I hit it up and it was in a prime spot for me to do an air dribble. And then from there you can do air rolls and whatever type of freestyle thing you want. But just a general air dribble, you're just gonna wanna hit it up and you're gonna wanna hit it from the bottom quadrant of the ball, which that was not, but I messed up there. But either way, when you do that, you're just gonna wanna, I guess you hit it from the bottom quadrant of the car, but softly. So you don't like hit it up too far. And I'll do another one real quick here, but you don't wanna hit it like up too far on the first touch here. That way you can just kind of like have a softer touch and even go for like a double tap, pinch to your teammate, or just go for the goal straight away. The problem is if you have a touch that's too hard, you can just see that it would it would go way farther than you'd want it to be and you wouldn't actually be able to get it on net. And here I'll also do a shot just with air rolls so you can kind of see how that would look just having a controlled shot with air rolls just right on net, even a little double tap. But anyway, that is how you want to air dribble. Definitely focus on your setup and maybe even just like kind of roll the ball and then hit, practice hitting it right after the banner and getting just like the first bounce and then using your arrow left and arrow right and make sure those are binded because that's what you'll need to jump off the wall and do that. But anyway, this is a really important mechanic to learn and at some point I'll do a wave dash tutorial, but that's gonna take longer since it is a harder mechanic to do. And at this point you are, if you're learning air dribbles, you're also just kind of like progressing from like kind of a less mechanically, less mechanical player to just kind of a more mechanical player no matter what rank you are. Anyway, have a good day and hopefully I'll see you guys this weekend, but I can't promise anything since I will be seeing my family again. Have a good day guys.